Hello, I'm Liam, and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of Cloudkinnon's editing features. Before we dive in, I should cover what Cloudkinnon is. Cloudkinnon is a Git-based CMS, which means we connect to your Git repository and edit your content files. If Git isn't a familiar term, no need to worry. All this means is that you always own your content, and that content lives in the same place as your website's code. So today, I'm going to walk through one of our free templates, Sendit. If you know your static site generators, the version I'll be using today is a Hugo site, but the CMS features that I'm showing work the same for all static websites. When we load up our site in CloudCanon, we can see on the left-hand side a list of the content collections that we have configured for this site. We'll start by looking at the pages. If we open our homepage, we'll see the visual editor. This is a side-by-side -side view of our homepage data and a preview of the page on the right. Often, this sidebar will contain metadata such as the content for social sharing, and in this case, it also contains the data for the components of this page. For sites integrated with CloudCanon's live editing, we can also interact with the page directly and see our changes reflect instantly, even in fully static tools like Hugo. Leveraging CloudCanon structured data, we can create our own page building experience, which allows us to rearrange the content blocks on our page, and also add new components from a custom component library. Here, we'll add a FAQ component, and we can see that we can now edit the data of this new component on the page. All of this sits on top of your own custom code and your own custom components. So while your team builds and edits pages in CloudCanon, your developers are able to build and edit the same files directly on their computer using a workflow comfortable to them. Next, we'll look at the collection of blog posts available on this site. These source files are marked down under the hood, and if we open one in CloudCanon, we'll see our other main editor, the content editor. This will be familiar to editing many documents on the web, and it has all of the rich text options you would expect when writing long form content. For example, headings, lists, and images are all editable and save as markdown under the hood. On top of this, CloudCanon supports editing custom snippets in your content file. These can be added to the page, edited, and relocated as blocks without needing to understand the underlying syntax. In this case, we'll add Hugo's tweet shortcode and fill in the data in the snippet panel. We can now move the snippet around the page without breaking any syntax. If we now go to save our site, we'll see the changes we made to the visual page earlier and the content file just now. If we choose to save here, CloudCanon will commit this batch of changes back to your Git repository and will rebuild your site to host a shareable preview. Now we can see the Twitter snippet that we added to the page and if we navigate to the home page, we can see the title that we modified. Once you're happy with the way this site is looking, you can hook into your website's publishing flows and initiate that release from within CloudCanon. Again, this ties into your underlying Git repository and can support deploying to your existing hosting stack. If we look at the pull request that was created in our Git repository, we can see the changes to our source files that CloudCanon made. Here, we have the changes to our page built out of components, and here we have our altered markdown with a custom snippet. By pushing your content back to a repository you own, your content isn't locked up in a database you don't control. Instead, your content stays with you and you're tapped into the versioning systems your developer already uses to manage the source code of your website. Going back into CloudCanon, as an editor, I can now merge these changes into our production site, or alternatively, your developer could do the exact same action directly from the Git repository. Once the new site builds, your changes will be live on the web. That's all for this quick demo. Hopefully it helps give you a feel for the editing experience that CloudCanon can help unlock on your static website.